Hey guys, Looney here, and welcome back to yet another video. This is basically how you can create your plugins for your bucket server from the beginning. Uh, these will be the most important things that you will need, and hopefully, I'll be able to put more into maximum of five plugins. Uh, the tutorials, well, the episodes will be quite long, um, so I hope you guys have time. And also, there'll be series, uh, probably, well, there'll be about uh, maximum of, well, minimum of 20 episodes, um, for this type of stuff. So, everything that I do in one episode, I will be putting the jar files in the description for everything, for every tutorial that I've done, so you guys can test them out and see what they do. So, we can need to go ahead and download the program that we will be using. So, the one that we'll be using is Eclipse Standard. Um, download which version you have or need for your operating system. You should already know what operating system, oh, sorry, what bit you have. If not, um, go ahead, Google it. It's, it's just too simple. So, I'm going to go ahead and download this one. And I'm not going to save this file because I've already got an Eclipse. So, you just want to save it. And then it will be in a WinRAR file. Well, it can be opened in, well, it's actually in like a .zip, I believe. Uh, but you can actually go ahead and, I believe I've got Eclipse download, AB. No, right. Um, oh, no, I do. I have this one. So, it will be in a zip file and this Eclipse folder here. You just basically want to extract that into uh, a folder I'm going to call... Actually, I'm not going to call it anything. I'm just going to drag it into here. And you obviously want to let it process in. Oh, being processed. Uh, basically, extracting it and the process uh, will keep going up. Um, this will actually depend on how fast your computer is and stuff like that. Uh, it won't take long. It'll probably take about 20 seconds. Somewhat, oh, somewhat around there. Uh, so, it's done. And the only thing that we need to do now is set up our... Uh, our, our place where our plugin is going to be downloaded or installed to our workspace basically uh, I've created this folder called plugins and then this is basically where all my projects will be so that is that once we have that guys you basically just want to load up Eclipse run and then this Eclipse Kepler, uh, Kepler even will load up or whatever one you downloaded uh, I've got Kepler I kinda like it better and this is basically the workspace you want to click browse and uh, you want to locate your workspace. I put mine on my desktop. So desktop and setting up a bucket server and then plugins and then OK. And that's basically where my workspace will be from now on. So all of my projects will be in plugins. Uh, just click create this dot metadata file. Don't delete this file. You will need it. Uh, delete this. Your projects will basically just disappear. So that's that. Now the next thing we will have to do is set up our kind of like workspace area in Eclipse. So basically you want to leave Eclipse to load. Um, it won't really take long on the first join. So the first thing you want to do is click this button. It, well, you would have had to click that button if you didn't load up. Uh, just minimize everything. I don't really use outline so I'm just going to go ahead and close that. And this is our little thing that we're going to use. So this is basically what Eclipse looks like. So we went ahead and closed the clips because we don't need it at the moment. And we went ahead and this file, or this link, the same with everything else, will be in the description. So if you just want to copy that, and or even click onto it and paste it into your URL, it'll automatically start to download the latest version. Uh, I will put 1.7.2 in the description for you guys who need it. I don't think I accepted that download link, or the download even. I didn't. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in there again. I'm going to go ahead and download 1.7.9 because my bucket server is 1.7.9 so the plugins will be compatible. So as you can see it's here. So I can close my web browser and in my plugins folder uh, I'm just going to go ahead and drop this jar file into there so we can use that whenever we need to. So guys that is pretty much the very first tutorial setting up Eclipse. Setting up everything that we need. Uh, I didn't really do a bucket server setup because it's too simple to do and it's not really needed. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a rating as it really does help me out. And this is a tutorial for Windows, it is not Mac. This is a theme. Um, I still haven't uninstalled it from doing my tutorial. So, guys, that is it. Uh, anyway, I will see you next time. See you guys.